what was General Mattis's one thing? You, know, they, you walked away from that job and, and, and spent a lot of time with that fellow. What was the one thing that, that you learned from him that, that, that really changed the way you approach the world? Uh, it's a great question because, I mean, frankly, there's, there's probably two or three things that were somewhat unique to Mattis. Uh, so I'll just kind of rapid fire them. I think the number one thing for Mattis in particular, and he's known for this, but that's just his depth, uh, the importance of a depth of history. Uh, so he and Admiral Stavridis were really close. They both feel very adamant that you've got to read a lot. You've got you've to know your history um, because – you know, Mattis would say routinely that the, the worst kind of mistake you can make is the one you have to make through your own hard-earned experience. You know, you want to learn from others. You want to learn people have made the same mistakes before you. So why would you waste your time making that mistake? Read a lot, talk a lot, have a diverse network so that people can steer you clear of those landmines. And uh, that's probably the two and three is uh, to have a diverse network because no matter what comes your way, you can pick up the phone and reach anybody. Uh, and ask intelligent questions and know that they're going to give you at least challenge your thought process and help you once again, avoid those landmines. Uh, and then Mattis was just always big about uh, even though it was a political job, he wanted to make sure he was as apolitical as possible because everybody was a winnable constituency is what he'd say. So you could be a democratic lawmaker. You could be a Republican lawmaker. Didn't really matter. He wanted you on the, on the Mattis team. And so I think you could see that infused the way he treated people, you know, he, he treated him with dignity and respect. I think he, he garnered a lot of respect in D.C. because of that.